Hi, lovers! Avital Elliot here, and I just wanted to make a, a really quick video for you uh, about ways that you can increase your health without making too many drastic changes in your diet. Because I know how hard it is for people to change their diet. Um, I've seen a number, uh, a large portion of my family die from cancer, um, tumors, uh, heart disease, whatever it is, all these diseases. Some of them have diabetes. Uh, some of my friends have diabetes. Some of my friends have uh, heart issues because of uh, their digestion. And uh, I have a friend actually who um, had a heart attack because her um, bowels were so full of undigested food that they pushed up her diaphragm and it put pressure on her heart and caused her heart to stop. And it's like, the doctors just want to, they want to uh, empty out her colon once a month. And that's the problem, they think. It's just, well, we'll just empty it out. But the problem really is, the types of food that most people eat are usually high in animal protein, high in uh, processed nutrients uh, like starches and processed grains and things. And, and Items that don't have any living waters in them so that you can digest your food in very low fiber. So we need fiber, we need living waters, and we need the foods that we eat to be as close to raw, if not raw, as possible because there's enzymes in food that get killed when you cook them over 104 or 114 degrees. I can't remember what it is, but when they've seen Gospel of Peace, um, it says not to cook your food over the temperature of your blood, and I tend to agree with that. And I'm not going to kid you and tell you that I'm 100% raw because I'm not even close. I used to be, and I've got to get myself back uh, to being closer to 100% raw. But right now I'm not. However, I have a, a bare minimum that I use to gauge whether I'm going to be able to stay healthy or not and avoid getting sick. And that is have a green smoothie every day with a green supplement and normally I like to have a salad but I haven't even been doing that but I, I make sure at least one of my meals has um, every it should really be every meal has high raw food content with it so right now I want to show you what I'm gonna eat I'm gonna I, I made some rice um, brown rice so it still has you don't want to eat white rice ever because it has the the germ is gone from it the the fiber part of it and you need the fiber because if you eat starchy foods without fiber they absorb immediately into your bloodstream super quick and that's what spikes insulin levels and leads to diabetes among other reasons such as your as your colon being backed up all the time full of animal products and putting stress on the pancreas that way and so what you want to do is have high fiber high living waters, high raw foods if you want to be healthy because you need the energy, the electrical energy charge you get from raw foods. Raw foods contain alkaline minerals, salts and minerals, and you need the alkaline salts and minerals for proper brain function. You need alkalinity to buffer the acidity of general everyday uh, metabolic activity. Um, it's all acidic. It, 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 we're, we're, uh, Dr. Robert Young says we're alkaline by design and acidic by function. So all of your functions, there's, you know, Anthony Robbins says snap and 7 billion liver cells have just died and then snap again and 7 billion liver cells have been created. So those 7 billion every second have to be disposed of and that's an acidic process and that's waste and our body has to get rid of the metabolic waste. At the same time, it has to flow out of the blood um, well, out of the tissues into the blood and then into the kidneys and all this um, and liver to be uh, cleansed and so the thing is when at acidic matter metabolic waste goes into the blood and then into the um, lymphatic system to be cleansed there the blood cannot be acidic it just can't be and it'll do anything the body will do anything to avoid an acidic condition because even one point change in your blood and you're dead. In your tissues you have a little bit more uh, leeway.
but your blood cannot be acidic. It has to be 7.365 alkaline, slightly alkaline. And so your body will do anything, and uh, including stripping calcium from your bones and creating gallstones and kidney stones to bind with the acid, including taking uh, cholesterol from wherever. Usually, if you had animal products, um, it'll send cholesterol into your uh, veins um, and coat the veins so that the acid won't eat through the sides of your veins. Like You just can't have acid in your body. The only two places are in the stomach and in the bladder. And so this is an easy way to up your chances of being healthy. And I can gauge myself now in such a way, I can, I can monitor my, my intake of food and know whether I'm going to be healthy or not. It's easy. I just have to eat my green smoothie every day, drink a lot of water, get some exercise every day, and when I have cooked food, I make sure I have some raw food with it. So here's my meal. I'm having some brown rice. And as you can see, I put two bell. I usually only put one, but I'm starting to put two now because it, you really got to have the raw foods. Um, it really, really is super important. Uh, so there's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like there's just some rice, some brown rice, and some and some uh, bell peppers, some orange, and they look yellow on the video, but they're uh, orange and red. <coughs> and so that will prevent leukocytosis. And leukocytosis occurs when less than 51% of your meal is raw because your lymphocytes or your white blood cells attack your food. They think it's a foreign invader when your food should not be a foreign invader. And if it's cooked, it doesn't have any life in it. You need life. Life begets life. So if there's not, if your food can't grow, basically put it this way, you're not supposed to eat it unless it can reproduce itself. So if you look at all your food, you know, when you eat, when you have raw rice, um, for example, you could plant the rice, you could, and it would germinate and grow more rice. Um, raw bell peppers, there's seeds in there, and you could plant those seeds and create more bell peppers. If you cook the rice or the bell peppers, they won't grow. Even if you steam them, they won't grow because it kills the life force energy in it. So, like for example, if you had a potato, you could eat a raw potato, which I, I wouldn't because they have um, alkaloids, which is different than alkalinity, uh, in the skin. Sometimes if you uh, eat them raw, there's green spots. That's actually poisonous. But the point is, you could uh, plant a potato and it would grow more potatoes. But if you cook the potato, it wouldn't grow more. So if you want to grow, you are what you eat and you want to have healthy cells and tissues and a healthy mind, a clear mind so that you can uh, have a good life, have a positive outlook. You want to eat life. Eat life that can reproduce itself so that your cells can reproduce themselves because you are what you eat and every, like, like if you look at, hopefully you can see this, I'm sure you've looked at a bell pepper before, but just look at the bell pepper and you can see, see those little, little cells, looks like something alive. But if you look at uh, a cooked bell pepper, those cells are all destroyed. Or anything, pasta, you eat pasta, there's no life in pasta. It's, like, it's the same thing. You could take wheat and plant it, but if you process it and create pasta, then no, you can't grow new pasta. You know, you can't grow new wheat out of pasta. So, life begets life. Just remember that. And if you're not going to go 100% raw, which is very hard to do, um, and a lot of people that are even say they're raw foodists don't do 100% raw, um, but at least incorporate, you know, put some raw zucchini on your pasta, put some uh, bell peppers, put some uh, c celery, don't cook it. And that way you get that raw life force energy that you need to have an abundant, healthy life. So I love you, and have a wonderful day. And put some raw vegetables on your food or just eat 100% raw and then it'd be amazing. Bye.